Hey guys, it's me. Um, so welcome unicorns. Let me close this cabinet real quick. Today we're doing prep day. I'm doing um, a month's worth of freezer meals. Um, they're gonna be, so basically they're just dinner meals, but they're created for a group of like 10 people. So a family of 10, I got it from, what's her name, um, Jamero. I'll leave a link to her at the bottom. So I bought her plan and I'm gonna do it today. And because I have only a family of five and a quarter technically, <laughs> um, I'm going to have the leftovers for lunches. So I was like, perfect. Um, so I'm really excited to get this started. And today we're actually just prepping and assembling because I went shopping yesterday. I got a giant grocery haul. Uh, if you saw my Instagram, you'd have seen my refrigerator stocked full of meats um, and vegetables. Okay, unicorns, we're gonna get this started and you're gonna come along with me to prep and assemble all these meals. I won't be able to leave the recipes because again, I got this off of somebody else and I wanna make sure they get the credit and all of this stuff. And, and if you guys like what you see, you can go there, buy her meal plan and do it for yourself. Um, yeah, so you're just gonna come along with me. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I'm just not gonna reveal any um, specific in, you know, quantities to say the least. All right? Okay, let's get started. So here is my lovely, lovely food, fridge full of food <laughs> and all that stuff. And I got some in the freezer as well. We actually ended up going out and buying a deep freezer because let me tell you, this was not gonna hold <laughs> um, any of the stuff that I'm about to do today. So I'm excited to get this started. Well, let's do this. So um, I think I spent a total of $500 in groceries because I went to Costco and Walmart. I got, I want to say the meats were $300 altogether. Um, and then the rest of it, the cheeses and, and everything else. Because um, I know when I went to Walmart for the, because I bought the vegetables at Walmart, I only spent 100 bucks. I thought that was pretty neat. So 100 bucks, I can't, I can't crouch like that, I'm pregnant. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, but I got what I could in bulk, but they also don't sell things like uh, parsley and cilantro at Costco, unfortunately. And the carrots were huge. I only need like four carrots um, and only so many celery sticks. So I was like, okay, well, um, we'll just go to Walmart and buy all the vegetables and we'll just get all the meat which you should have seen my husband yesterday. He was so funny, he was freaking out. He's like, I bet you were spending like $800 in meat. And when it came down to it, he was like pricing out. He's like, oh, we're only up to $200 so far. I'm okay now. <laughs> I was like, good, let's keep going. So we went and we kept going and we got all kinds of meat. So first up for prep day, hold up, let me close this so I don't lose anything. I know I said no specific quantities, but I'm not really. So right now what I'm doing is I'm cooking 16 pounds of ground beef, three pounds of bacon that I'm going to crumble, um, and then I'm gonna chop up the onions um, and dice the onions and celery and, uh, oh, I forgot, I gotta shred some carrots. I forgot to put shred carrots up here. Um, and then wash and gut 20 peppers and then crush my pork rinds, which I'll show you the pork rinds later. I found those at Costco. I thought they were super, super neat. Um, let me show you, let me show you. So here are the pork rinds. They're actually, uh, what are they called? Uh, 4505 uh, chicharrones, pork rinds. Um, is it chicharrones? I don't know what my husband pronounced. He's Mexican, so he, he knows. Um, fried pork rinds. Now, I they didn't have like plain, so um, we're tweaking the recipe a bit. This is chili and salt. I actually have not tasted these. We will taste them. Uh, later when I open them. I'm not opening them right now. Um, but they are technically paleo certified um, and gluten free. So that's a bonus. Um, I don't know why it's not keto friendly because it's zero carbs and there's zero sugar. But I guess because it says in the ingredients coconut palm sugar, but it's zero sugar. I'm confused about that, but I don't know. But I'm excited to try it. If it says zero carb, zero sugar, that's keto to me. And besides, I think most of this, I'm not doing like pure on the dot keto, like 
it's a mix. It's it's basically dirty lazy keto. Yeah, because that's just how I'm gonna roll now. Dirty lazy keto. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I'm gonna start cooking. Um, I'm really not gonna be commenting much. I just want you guys to enjoy the show and the music and the prep. Um, again, I'll leave all the links to everything I'm using um, and to all the links for Jamero. So I hope you enjoy the show. So I got all my ground beef um, cooked up, and I made a slight mistake. <laughs> I was supposed to reserve five pounds of it for not cooking, so instead of following the directions I had already written to cook only 16 pounds, I cooked all 19. Oops. So I gotta run back out to the store and grab five more pounds of um, uncooked ground beef to make the meatloaf. Okay, so there, accidents do happen. That's all right, this is my first time. I'm gonna give myself a little, a little forgiveness, like a lot of grace because first time. All right, things happen. And it's still a fun exper experience, an experiment, it's good. But I do have all 16 pounds. No, I'm sorry, 19 pounds of uh, 
ground beef. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other cooks. Oh, you know what? I can do dinner tonight. I can do, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'll figure it out. But yeah, it's okay to make mistakes. Remember that unicorns. It's okay, nobody died. So, it is now 624. I went to the doctor at, I had to be there at one, so I left at 11, no, I left at, what time did I leave at? I, le I'm, I live like an hour away, so I left at like noon, a little bit before noon. Um, I got there, did my thing, took forever, and then, because it was the first appointment, it always takes forever, right? Saw the baby in the ultrasound, photos on Instagram. Um, so anyway, it's late now. I just picked up my kids from my mom's house because she picks them up after school. And then um, now I'm going to make dinner. So they're hungry. I'm hungry. What I'm doing is I'm actually making the cheeseburger casserole. So I'm going to make those two first. So we're taking a short break of prep to make this meal. <laughs> that or I'll do this in a, in a different video. And this might be a different video. If it's a different video, hi. <laughs> um, if not, yeah. So, right now I've got the, my meat proportioned out five pounds a piece. Bah, five pounds, five pounds. All right, because it's 10 pounds separated, blah, 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 spread evenly in these things, and we're gonna bake. Sorry if that was loud. Let's get started.